Hey everybody, it's Joe Cropper from the Power Systems Development Organization. And today we're going to do a quick technology demo and overview of IBM Cloud Private paired with Cloud Automation Manager to show how it can deploy SAP HANA on top of your IBM Power Systems. So just to set the stage here real quick, uh, when a lot of people talk about IBM Cloud Private, we tend to focus on the container-based element of it and orchestration for new cloud native development. And that's obviously very, very critical given the huge uh, shift that's going on in the industry around containers and the excitement that that's bringing and the new innovations. But we also need to remember that most of the critical enterprise apps of today are running in virtual machines, or LPARs as we call them in power, uh, in the power world. And so that's really a unique position for IBM Cloud Private because it can unify these worlds of containers and VMs and give you a, a, an application catalog experience that can tackle both of these things. And this is where you can be having that catalog that has SAP HANA, Oracle on top of AIX or DB2 running on AIX or IBM WebSphere application server, so on and so forth. And again, so that's really, really critical. And for today's demo, we're going to focus on SAP HANA, which is one of our uh, industry-leading workloads on the Power Platform. So with that, just real quick about the environment overview. So in the lower left-hand corner, we have our Power S824 server, which is then, then paired with uh, an IBM Storewise V7000 fiber channel attached storage array. Managing both of these, I have IBM Power VC 141. And within Power VC, I've loaded my SAP HANA image, which is running SLES Linux uh, 12 SP3. And that's sort of business as usual for those of you that are using PowerVC. You've loaded your image, you've connected it with your power servers and your uh, fiber channel storage. And now this is where the magic happens, is one layer up with IBM Cloud Private and Cloud Automation Manager. And I'm running 2.1.0.3 of both of these software packages. And, and that's where you're going to start to see the beauty of the solution, where I have cloud private and an application catalog that will have both uh, container-based applications as well as my SAP HANA database that I can deploy, which will then be orchestrated uh, through PowerVC, just like any other deployment would happen. So with that, let's actually switch over to the demo. Okay, so here we are looking first at the PowerVC infrastructure. Uh, and what I wanted to showcase here is just, just the standard welcome screen of PowerVC. So you can see I have all of my servers and virtual machines, and this is just business as usual. So I'm going to come over here to my images. And just to highlight this, I have my SAP HANA SLES 12 SP3 image prepped in PowerVC. Again, just business as usual if I were to deploy this through PowerVC. Okay, so this is how I've prepared the PowerVC environment. So let's go over to take a look at Cloud Automation Manager, which I've also uh, installed ahead of time within IBM Cloud Private, which is easy to do just via a simple Helm chart deploy. So let's go ahead first here and let's look at our cloud connections just to show you for a moment. Um, and again, remember that Cloud Automation Manager is a simple application that runs within the broader IBM Cloud Private framework, which I'll show you in a minute. And IBM Cloud Automation Manager can be configured to talk to a number of different cloud providers. And here I have it connected to PowerVC. So just to show you this for a minute, let's look at some of the connection details. So here you can see it's registered as an OpenStack endpoint. We just named it PowerVC, gave it a description. Here's all the standard connection information for uh, configuring a PowerVC endpoint. Here we have the uh, the connection URL and basic credentials, sort of all the standard stuff. And again, you can do simple things here like test the connection to make sure that CAM can talk to PowerVC. We see the green check mark, so we know that we're good to go there. So now let's actually go ahead and deploy SAP HANA. So here I am in the IBM Cloud Private Catalog. And you can see here there's a lot of applications, and many of these our container-based solutions, some of them could be virtual machine-based solutions, and as an end user you don't really know, and that's the real beauty of this. So let's scroll down here to SAP HANA, and here I have a couple of entries that, are, that I've pre-configured and they are just set up to use different uh, networks under the cover, so that's why you see two of them. So let's go ahead and click on this SAP HANA here. And you can fill it in. I've just called this SAP HANA ICP for demo purposes. And then, of course, 
You can put in more details or other links and all sorts of other metadata about it. You can even set up different tiers. So if you're end user, if there was gonna be billing or things of that nature, you could indicate that here. Uh, for this demonstration, we just have one simple standard plan, which I'll pick. I'll click configure. And then now notice at this point, I'm just asked for two input fields. Let's call this JW crop SAP HANA. And I'm gonna pick my namespace and I'll just use default here. And that's it. So we've taken all the configuration parameters out of this. There's just a simple name and a namespace. That's all the user has to do to invoke an SAP HANA deployment through IBM Cloud Private. And I click install and it says, okay, you're about to deploy, let's go ahead. And voila, the installation is uh, uh, off and, and completed and now the provisioning is happening. Okay, so now we've waited a few minutes and our SAP HANA database has been deployed. So let's go take a look at it. Let's go over to the IBM Cloud Private menu and go to workloads and then brokered services. And here you can see the JW crop on a uh, deployment that we did a few moments ago. So we'll go ahead and launch that. This gives me some high level metadata about the deployment. Uh, let's go in and take a look at our log file and the activity log. So this is the, all of the information from Terraform, which was the engine that was talking to PowerVC. And you can see here's where it actually kicked off the uh, deployment of the HANA database. See, here's the basic flavor information, the image ID, uh, which is, of course, the image back in my PowerVC uh, setup. Here's the network that we happen to use for it. You could pick your own network within your PowerVC setup. And then we'll scroll way down to the bottom, and then you can see here that we're given the IP address of the HANA database. So that's how we know uh, where, uh, where we can connect to, to actually take a look at it. And by the way, just to show the correlation here, this is, of course, the same PowerVC um, IP address uh, that the LPAR shows here. So that's, again, correlating to show you that this LPAR, which uh, was, was instructed to be deployed via CAM, that's the match, and here's the association back in my IBM Cloud private setup. So anyways, let's go grab our IP address here, and then why don't we SSH into it and take a look at the HANA database. So let's pop into this uh, HANA partition. Now we're in the HANA partition, so let's become the HANA DB user. Oops, let me see here. Ah, oh, there we go. So we became the correct administrator, and now we should be able to run HDB SQL. And here you go. We have SAP HANA running. So there you have it. We have now successfully deployed our SAP HANA database through IBM Cloud Private in conjunction with Cloud Automation Manager. Please feel free to check out any of these links at your leisure. Uh, they provide really good overview information about IBM Cloud Private and getting started with it on IBM Power Systems. And then you can delve into setting up Cloud Automation Manager, uh, so on and so forth. Thanks a lot. We appreciate you watching.